What would you say is one of the most important reasons why people should train BJJ? For me, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and martial arts in general has taught me to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And this is something that I say easily, but that has very deep like implications. I started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on a consistent basis and quickly developed a love for the sport. Starting anything from scratch requires humility and patience, but I've started to recognize my progress and I can say it is quite addictive. So I'm here with one of the co-owners of Ground Zero, the incredible gym that I've been training at. Dennis, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for all that you do. I think you're an incredible coach. I'm curious, based on what you've observed on the practices you've had with me so far, what are some thoughts that come to mind? Yeah, <laughs> strong man. Like you're somebody very physically strong and pretty intense in the things you do, which I like because uh, I'd like much more the intense people because it's much easier to tone them down a little bit than to fire up somebody that's not that fiery to begin with. Dennis is right. It is not a challenge for me to tap into my primal state of competitiveness and aggression. And I do recognize that my strength that I've been developing for years has worked in my favor. But that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. I got him, made him tap four out of the four times I rolled with him. Maybe that was just a bad time for him. Maybe I was just really on fire. But then I got humbled last night when the guy that was helping lead the class of Braden, he was like a 92 kilogram brown belt. Oh, bro, like from Poland? Okay, you're gonna get fucked up. Yeah, that Brown hurt. belt from Poland, you're gonna for sure gonna get humbled. Yeah. yeah. So it was interesting talking with Andres around like, yeah, I fucking feel so good the night before. And then I left this one going like, my fucking arm hurts. One of the things you have to realize is that because you're so physically strong, you're gonna find early success just based on your strength. Mm. Just like, Wah! and people will tap by just you squeezing them. But the big downside is to get like too addicted to this little success you have up front because if you rely only on your physical strength, you might miss out on the refined technique and the refined basics that are needed to make it really work. Yeah. And as soon as you find somebody that just outperforms you on technique or can match your strength, you're fucked. And it's really common in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that strong people have early success as a white belt. And then by the time they get blue belt and purple belt, they only rely on the strength and their benefit is kind of fading away because people with a deeper practice will be able to handle it. Yeah. And if you find out like four or five years in that you completely miss the fundamental understanding that's needed to perform well, mm. your strength won't do a lot for you anymore. And it's yeah. really, uh, yeah, something that happens very regularly. But if you are able as a strong guy to not rely on your strength, to basically shut it off and find the proper technique first, and then you bring back your strength, that's when you get very strong competitors. Yeah. I remember when I was doing my yoga teacher's course, my teacher explained to me that one of the big scholars in yoga said that the end goal of uh, yoga is steram sukham asanam and he translated that as being stable and comfortable in a pose. And from a young age, I've had all these otherworldly experiences that I spent the rest of my life trying to make sense of. It took me a while to realize that what martial arts has given me, being able to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations, might be pointing at exactly the same direction as Tiram Sukham Asanam. And that ultimately, through being able to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations, we can come to a place of awareness where we are not reacting to outside stimuli anymore and where we can really be present. I think getting out of your comfort zone is something that people talk about a lot, but what's the practical application of that? And I think jiu-jitsu allows you to put that into practice consistently. Mm. Like, yeah, you get very uncomfortable, especially when you have, you know, a bone sticking into your neck and you're trying to get out of a position and, you know, being able to be calm, be present and be intelligent of 
how should I act moving forward? I really like that. Having Dennis as a coach has been extremely helpful for my BJJ development, from constantly picking his brain and absorbing his wealth of knowledge. I love how he has managed to integrate his passion for BJJ into his daily life, for he truly lives and breathes the sport. And while my journey of this sport has just begun, I can see where my path leads, and I can definitely attribute Dennis and Ground Zero to being an integral part of my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu future. So Dennis, yeah. what would you say to anyone who's looking to get into BJJ and why it's important for them to start this practice? Man, just start. There's not much to say. It's about action. Like so many people are practicing uh, ideas and concepts in their mind and are speaking words without backing it up with action. The, yeah. Like really the biggest step anybody in the BJJ community has to do to actually be part of it is step in for the first time. After you've done your first class, everything else will be easy. Well, I say easy, it will be easier than uh, uh, coming for your first class. That's probably the biggest hurdle yeah. because most people will never start. Just getting started. I, I, can, I can attest to the feeling of, oh, I gotta go to practice. I'm not really feeling like doing it. But luckily, that's where the discipline comes in. You just go no matter how you're feeling. But it's like you once you get that first initial a couple of minutes out of the way where if you're not feeling so good and then you go and you're kind of pushing through it, well then all of a sudden you start getting that momentum and now it's fun again. And you're around all these incredible people. We have you to guide us. So I just want to say thank you for all that you do. I'm blessed to be part of the family and I'm looking forward to hopefully other people, you know, understanding the importance of coming and training jujitsu, period, no matter where they're out in the world, but especially coming to this incredible place called Ground Zero.